Now here's today, tonight, and a family's fight for justice, Monica. A fight that is finally... Good news. For 20 years, the Armstrong's Mullaloo home has been cracking and falling apart. At long last, they'll be compensated after proving what they've always known, that it's slipping into a sinkhole. Mark Gibson has this exclusive report. Cheers. Cheers to the new house. I'm still in, in shock, really, because I, I really didn't think it's just been so long. I just wanted justice. Justice is what Brad and Anyo Armstrong have finally got. It took them 20 years of fighting. We always knew what was wrong. They just wouldn't take our word for it. Take a look at the Armstrong's Mullaloo home. Built in the 1980s, the cracks started to appear in 1996. It's well and truly falling down around our ears. The Armstrongs were at their wit's end when they appeared on Today Tonight in 2011. We have grandchildren and we can't stay here for that. By 2012, they were passing objects through walls. Are you in the bedroom? Yeah. Is there a pen in there you can pass me? Sure. Uh -huh. Thank you. Now, the cracks are even bigger. Did I leave the remote control in there? Sure did. Here it is. I'll just pass it through. Thank you. God, I don't well, even know how to describe it. Well, um, we've been living in basically like a bloody humpy, really. Well, there's no toilet in there. You can't close the bathroom door. You can put your hand from one room to another. But we were literally falling out of bed there because the, the, the floor was on such a slope. For two decades, Brad and Anyo have been convinced that their home is slipping into a sea cave. But no one would do anything about it. Not the builder, not the insurer, the council or the government. Until now. It was like a weight had been lifted off, off your shoulders, if you like. All, we've been saying this all along. When you first came into the office in June 2010, I had no idea it would take us six years. The local MP, Albert Jacob, convinced the government to commission one more report to prove that the house was naturally sinking. We were convinced that not only were Brad and Anyo not at fault, uh, we were convinced that nobody was actually at fault. Uh, and in that circumstance, the convention has been that government pays out next gratia payout. This was the Armstrong Saviour, a 77-page geotechnical report which found that there are voids and caves under the house, that the shifting sand is causing the house to move and crack, and that if nothing's done, it will eventually collapse. When we were told to go have to do more testing, we thought, oh, no, not again, because we have to pay more money. But at the end, it worked out. Five months after that final report, the state government has agreed to an $800,000 payout, the market value of the house if it wasn't damaged. Excited, very excited. And I think to just look for the future. Now they can have a new house, now they can have a future, now they can have a new life. This scandal dates back to 1981. That's when the house behind the Armstrongs was demolished after cracking and falling apart. But no one told them when they built their house six years later. I believe that they knew all along that there was something wrong with the blocks. The council knew there was a problem here. Keith Pearce became a star witness, revealing he was on the Wanneroo Council which agreed to demolish that home and pay compensation to the owners. We were given an absolute guarantee that no other building would be allowed in this area uh, that had been identified as the problem area without there being proper earthworks being done to uh, make sure that the houses that were built were perfectly sound. Brad and Anyo were issued a permit to build, but there were conditions. The block had to be excavated to a depth of five metres. The soil had to be refilled and compacted. The council thought that would provide a solid base to build on. I'm sure they thought if we did all that, that it would be OK. As it turned out, it wasn't. Once it wasn't, they just, they just ran for cover. So it's taken 20 years and $100,000 on repairs and reports for the grandparents to get justice. What's this done to you over the past 20 years? Probably aged me another 20, but um, I look forward to the next 20. So um, I always have a positive outlook on life. You know, things happen and you've got to move on and, yeah, 
I'm, I'm looking forward to picking a new home and, yeah, making it nice. They'll leave their home of 35 years with mixed feelings. I love this house. Uh, my kids grew up in this house. This house has a lot of fond memories, also has a lot of nightmarish memories for me. They can, now in the latter years of their life, uh, buy a house uh, and retire. This to our new home. Here you go. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Dreams coming true. I think a new adventure for us would be good. And no sea caves. No sea caves. No sea caves. So if it comes with sea caves, we'll get past. <laughs> The house is expected to be bulldozed within weeks.